Hi, my name is Mike Hold. I'm with the Field Support Services Group uh, for Envent North America. Uh, welcome to Raycam Connects, where we connect you to the products. Today we're going to be discussing vents and drains. And um, vents and drains are considered heat sinks, and as they may have fluid in them, they do need to be heat traced. So uh, while there's different types, we're going to focus on a typical type of a vent, and then uh, also drains as well. Now, two things to remember when you're doing this. Number one is servicing, the other one is operations. And what I mean by that is, so placement of the SR cable is key, okay, to protect the SR. So we always want to make sure we're installing on the right side of the valve. And what I mean by that is, is that if I put my SR cable on this side, this winds up being insulated, and if this needs to be serviced, nobody can remove it. However, if I put it on this side, we can cut the tape and we can peel it away. Easy for servicing. Also with operations, another thing to consider is there may be a stub that comes up here where they would attach their hose. Do not put your SR cable up this high because it has no heat value. Actually, we're just wasting our heat trace. So keep it here on the body, the bottom side of the, uh, of the, of the valve, and uh, you'll have your heat trace where you need it to be. Okay, so for a quick install, I have my tape, wrap it around, I've done my pre-bending, I know how high it has to come, like that, We want to make sure we've got good surface contact with our SR cable. If we don't have good surface contact, we don't hit heat transfer and therefore we're wasting our heat again. Once that's installed, I double check to have a look and if I'm happy with it, that's good. Bear in mind those two things I said, the valve body, the bottom here, and make sure you don't go to the handle side. Again, operations may come along and if they need to open these valves or if there's a plug or a stem here, they may actually have to pick that out, in which case, if your heat trace is in the way, it could get damaged. Let's look at some drains. So here we have a drain that's already been done. And as you can see, our handles are on this side, and our trace is on this side. So we know that if there's any stems coming off the bottom, operations will not contact it with their wrenches. And if we have to take this off for servicing, we simply have to cut our tape, remove our SR cable, and it's protected. For more tips and tricks on how to install SR cable on vents and drains or any installation regarding our products, please contact your InVent rep or consult our manual or go to our website. Thank you and have a great day.